in the previous video we have created a separate project for the apis and here we have written some apis for the books now it is time to consume all these apis in the angular project let's navigate to the angular project here we are and here to work with the api we have to use one http client to use the http client we need to import one module in this application and let's do that and because we can make the api call from any place in this application so it is better to write the code in the shared module so here we are in the app this is the shared folder and here we are having this shared module and over here i can import the http module okay so let's use the so let's use it inside the imports so here i'm writing http client module and because this is a shared module and we are importing it in some other modules as well so it is better to write it in the exports module also now this http client module will be available to all the modules where we are importing this shared module now let's go to the books module and here we are having some services so we are having only one service over here and we have written some hard coded data over here okay let's remove everything because this time we will get the data from the real world api remove everything this all books as well cool and this recent books also remove everything from here cool now what we have over here we are having just a service and it is a constructor and these are two methods and let's just use void over here because we will implement it in just a bit to work with the api we have to use http client and to use the http client we have to inject it over here so what i can do is private here i can write http client and let's provide the http client this one this http client is available over here inside this angular common http it means this http client is a part of angular and we are not importing anything from the outside world okay let's say i want to work with this get books or this add book and here to work with any one of them we have to use this http client and we can do that easily by using this dot http client and just press the dot after the dot you will get a list of all the methods for your apis so if your api is of delete type then you can use this delete method if the api is of get type then you can use this get method similarly we have so many things there head options patch post put everything is there let's say i want to work with this get method so let's use this one now to view the more details of this get method let's just press the control button and just hit the left click of your mouse here we are and at this place you will see that this is the get method and it is expecting a couple of parameters so first is this url and this is mandatory because there is nothing like optional over here so we need to pass the url over here then we have the options and options it is optional if you want to pass the options like the custom headers then you can pass it over here then we have this context observe the params and then here we are having this report progress response type with credentials so basically this is the only thing that is required over here because all of them are optional and this one is already having a value just focus on the return type of this method the return type is observable and the array buffer now what is the meaning of observable this observable is a part of rxjs and angular is using rxjs over here whenever you will create a new project in the angular then it will automatically get the reference of the rxjs and there are so many things that you can use from the rxjs you can use the observable in couple of concepts in your application irrespective of angular but here we will use it to interact with our apis let's say i'm writing the code over here to get a list of all the books so what will happen we will send a request from this place to the api project and because the data is coming from some other project so this will take a little bit time and if you are using the observable then we have to subscribe it at some places once we will get the response from the api those methods will get called automatically this is the basic concept of using the http client and the observable from the next video we will get a list of all the books that are available in the database